out and lose the way Through the things that really matter These complications spin my mind But I know I gotta keep pushing through Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a lyric video like this using Canva Layers, which is a newly launched feature now. Canva has cited layers and it's much easier to add lyrics or any text captions on top of the video. So today I'll show you step by step how to do this in this video. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, open up a blank video template. First thing we want to do is add a background video and the music track. So I'm going to scroll down here to videos and I'm going to use this one and click this, drag it into the page. As you can see, this is a short 20 second video. Now I want to add some music, so I'm going to click on audio and I'm going to choose this audio track and drag it onto the timeline here. There you go. Now if I play that, we should be able to hear the music in the background. How do you lose the way through the things that really matter? You can see we have the background video and the audio, so this is the timeline where you will be able to see all your elements on your tracks. If you don't see, it's most likely. This is minimized and you will see the pages. If you don't see, it's more likely that this is minimized and you will see the pages. If you just click this arrow to show pages, you will now be able to see the timeline and this is what we will be working with. Next step, we need to add some text lyrics to the page. In the left hand sidebar, click on the text. Okay, so now I'm just going to change the document fonts to Gatwick one. So now I'm just going to make it slightly bigger so I can see it. Okay, now what I want to do is add the text one after the other on this page. And then after that, I'm going to line it up properly. So I'm just gonna click and copy and paste this multiple times. I will speed up this a little bit, so I won't waste your time, but essentially I'm just copying and pasting the text element, then adding in the lyrics one after the other. And here you can see there are on top of each other. So we have the lyrics nicely laid out with each line in a separate text element. Now we want to highlight all the text and click the three dots here and click on show timing button. As soon as you do that, it gets added to the bottom here. To expand it, if you click up, you will be able to see all the lyrics here. Now you want to adjust the lyrics to be in line with the song. You can also click on position and click on layers button and you will be able to see all the layers here. They are actually in reverse order to timeline, but what you could do is you can change the order by selecting one of the layers. This will deselect the entire group. Now you can just reposition it by clicking the six dots on the left hand side. So if I click here and I can drag that to the top, so I will just move all the sentences in the correct order. As you will see them on the track, so just make it easier for us to understand and for us to work with this. So now the layers are in the same order as they are on the track and I will highlight all the text and then click on the three dots button here and then show timing. And then I'm going to click this up arrow to see all the layers on separate tracks on the timeline. Now we've got this, so I will drag the playhead to the start. Now I'm going to adjust the length. Here what I'm doing now is adjusting the duration of the text elements so it's in time with the words of the song. So as you can see, as one line ends, that's when I start the next line and contain that for the duration of the line and then stop it and then work on the next one. This involves playing it, then pausing it and lining it up, having a listen and then just lining up. It's so important to tune it well as you go along. And then once you've got it in a general order, you can press play and listen back and then you can make micro adjustments later. Again, all you need to do is click and drag the ends of the purple elements. There you go. And I can adjust the length of the video there. 
Okay, so now you're probably thinking, but come on, I don't want the lyrics to appear one of the top of other coming down. I just want them to pop up in the middle of the screen. So it's really easy to do it. In order to do that, we have to center all the lyrics. So for this, I will just highlight all the words, just highlight it here. Then I'm going to click position orange. Now I'm going to go middle and center button. And now if I click away, here it looks messy, but that's not how it's going to end up. So now when I press play, you can see that the lyrics appear in the center of the screen, one after the other. How do you lose the way through the things that really matter? Now if you want, you can add another elements. For example, I can add a spark. So if I click on elements in the land hand tab, then I will just select these sparkles. So I will select this sparkle and it's black at the moment, but all I will do is click on the color box and turn it yellow. Now I want this to fly across the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position it off the center here, but as you can see, it's still selected. Now I'm going to click on animate on animate button and then select this new feature called create animation. And now all I have to do is just drag this animation across the screen like that. So now you can see that you can change movement styles, you can make it smoother and you can make it steady. Also you can change the speed of it. It can be slower or faster. And also you can add some motion effects to this. It can rotate, it can flicker, it can rotate, it can pulse and it can wiggle. And you can choose all of them so it can rotate, flicker, pulse and wiggle all in once. So I'm gonna choose the flicker one. Well, it's such a great feature because you can make it to go every direction you want. Now when I play the video back, you can see the video there. I don't want to position it there, so what I'm going to do is just click on that. When I go like that, the sparkle goes over like that. Well, I mean, I can just have it at the end like that. Once you finalize your video, click on share button in the top right hand corner and then click on download button. Now you should make sure that MP4 is selected and any pages. If you got more than one page, make sure they're all selected, then click download and you should be good to go. So there you go. That's how to make a lyric video with Canvas, new layers feature. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel, give us a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next tutorials.